10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, the title's 4, 3, 2, 1, get the titles. <laughs> Their knights are closing in. And the witches are coming out. To be the best witch, you need to have a good outfit. So we at Sticky Back Plastic are going to show you how in two creepy steps. The first sinister step is to actually make the witch's hat. There are seven main ingredients. A piece of wood measuring 45 centimetres in length. A pair of scissors. Double-sided sticky tape. A pencil. A piece of elastic measuring 30 centimetres a large piece of black card and last of all for decoration glow in the dark stick-ons well first of all ensure that the card is nice and flat using the wood place it horizontally to a corner of the card hold it with one hand and with the other mark a quarter of a circle using your pencil be very careful as not to make a mistake As you can see, there's a pencil line going from one edge of the card to the other. Well, next, cut along the pencil line using a pair of scissors along there. Be very careful as not to make a mistake. Once you've done that, you may discard this piece of card, but do keep it for the next program. Next, cut off four pieces of double-sided sticky tape and stick them to the side of your table. Take one at a time and stick them evenly along the side of the card, like so. Once you've done that, join both sides together to form a cone. Using a pencil, make two holes, one either side, one there and one there, but don't make them too big. Next, using your showing elastic, thread it through and tie a knot and do the same for the other hole. Now you can either leave it as it is, or you can add a bit of decoration to it, either by using some coloured pencils or some tin foil. For our hat, we've used glow-in-the-dark stick-ons. Now Claire's going to show you the next creepy step. I'm going to show you how to make the witch's cloak. For this you need a pair of scissors, an empty jam jar, a roll of double-sided sticky tape, some tubes of brightly coloured glitter, a ball of string, um, attached with a knot attached to a safety pin I'll tell you about that later a length of cord thick black cord or wool measuring about 75 centimeters a sheet of newspaper and a black bin liner what you do first take scissors you see there's a seam across the bottom don't want that so we cut along there and discard that then you take scissors and cut along the length of the bin liner now we're going to do the decorations this takes quite a while so I've got one I've prepared earlier you open out your sheet onto the table. Take your double sized sticky tape and cut it into, you can either cut it into cubes or you can cut it into stars and moons to keep with the Halloween theme. That's what I've done. And you stick them all across the back. And then you take your, um, make sure that your newspaper's underneath. Take your, take your glitter, put it, peel off the backing, put it on the shape and shake the excess onto the newspaper. And you can take up the newspaper and put it into a jar and save for a later date. Then cut pieces of sticky tape about five centimetres long with about an inch in between all along the top way. Then take your um, sheet of plastic and turn it over, keeping the sticky back plastic on the top. Take the cord, black cord, attach it to the um, end of the string with the safety pin on. And make sure that the black cord is overlapping one end and the string is overlapping the other end. Then you take the um, top corner, peel off all the sticky, the sticky back plastic, stick it down, take the black cord of one end of one end, and the string at the other and pull it all the way through until you get the black cord and then push it all on. And here's one I prepared earlier once again. There you have your witch's cloak. And finally remember, if you are going out tomorrow night, just take care. 
On tomorrow's programme, we'll be demonstrating how to transform yourself into Frankenstein, ready for October the 31st. But first, Claire will model the outfit. <laughs> See you. Same channel, same time tomorrow. Until then, goodbye. Bye.